What's good, YouTube? Now what I need to hear back again once again. It's hey, people, today we're back for another episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we got our Legend Hunter grind on, and we went into the fissure, the crack, the crevice in the sky, the fracture in the sky, and we encountered the legendary Pokemon of time, Dialga. Uh, because, of course, we're in Alpha Sapphire, if you're playing Omega Ruby, you would have encountered Palkia. And in today's episode, you guys, we're going to use both of them to dive back into the fissure in the sky and acquire Giratina. So, if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Alpha Sapphire, and of course, if you guys are proud members of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, as I just noted, we need to use both Dialga and Palkia to access Giratina, so that means that one of our Pokemon in our party, I'm gonna go ahead and drop you off, big dog, because we're getting ready to go and face a ghost type, and I guess I can drop you off as well, if we need to, uh, I, I guess we could, we could Earthquake if we needed to, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's whatever, but, uh, very similar to the last episode, because we needed Dialga, I mean, we need the Lake Trio to access either Dialga or Palkia, you need Dialga and Palkia to go ahead and access Giratina, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm playing through Alpha Sapphire right now, so I don't have a, uh, uh um, a readily available playthrough version of Omega Ruby, thank you to Hoodlum Scrafty for, uh, lending us the footage of Palkia, so we can still kind of sort of have an all-around encompassing feel of the game in our episodes, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my competitive Palkia that I got in a good episode of Pearl, I mean, uh, Pearl years ago. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and drop him off in the party right there because he will go ahead and play the role that we need him to play But like I said uh, traditionally you're supposed to get Dialga in Alpha Sapphire and Palkia in Omega Ruby And you have to trade one or the other over and with that yeah You better spray that motherfucking repel and with that we can go ahead and hop on our giggity goddamn private jet and Fly up out of here fly up out of here back to the south side of Duford God damn it, I should have saved before I did this. Son of a bitch. <sighs> I'm gonna end up flying over to Marvel and saving the game game. Oh, that's too tough. I was about to say, is that is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? I still check this corner every single time to see if the Crescent Isle shows up. Hey, look, there's the rift in the sky again. There's the rift in the sky again. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's just land a slate port instead. Because, uh, unfortunately, the Alga ate up a lot of Ultra Balls, so I want to get some more Ultra Balls as well. And I want to save the game because you can't save the game while you're soaring in the sky. That is the proper, that is the uh, uh, traditional, the the correct terminology for that. You're not just flying on Latios, you're soaring in the sky. Okay, okay. I'm I'm just trying. I'm just looking out for y'all. Okay, I'm just looking out for y'all because I don't want y'all to to be thinking that you you spitting some correct knowledge and whatnot, and you end up sounding like a busted ass because you talk about flying on some Latios bullshit. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 I remembered it this time. Premier ball in my back, my back, back, back. Give me that shit right there. Let me get some more. Back, 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 back. And I'm gone. Now buy 10 more because I want over 50. I don't care if it's 58, JK. I do because I'm OCD. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Only you can read law save data, so make sure you save the game before anything crazy goes down or anything stupid happens, like uh, actually killing Giratina or he struggle kills himself. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on our private jet one more again, one more again. We getting crazy freaking flying miles in this motherfucker, goddamn. It's crazy how like everyone thought it was it was insane how they gave you access to to soaring in the sky like so late in the game, so late in the storyline, but you use it still so so much. Oh, you can hear it. There's a huge gap in the sky. Peculiar scenery that you've never seen before stretches beyond the gap. So you want to fly into the gap? No hesitation, nigga. The music! Ooh. Oh, Giratina! One of my favorite legendary Pokemon, hands down! Giratina's theme go ham. T wave this nigga. Oh, you rocking Aura Sphere too? I'm guessing all three of them have Aura Sphere. Well, just like last time, I'll write it down. You got Aura Sphere, and we found out Aura Sphere has 20 PP. So we have one out of 20. 
Uh, my thing is, I don't know what's gonna kill him. I feel like I'm gonna scald him. Because Dragon resists water, so hopefully we... Hopefully, hopefully Giratina... Giratina's got a lot of natural bulk. Look at that. I was gonna say, Giratina has a lot of natural bulk. Oh, you have Hex. Oh, I see you, big dog. I see you on your unique moveset grind. I mean, you ain't gonna get a status ailment on me or none of that shit. But yeah, um, they call Giratina the Great Wall. There's an uber set where he just eats up hits for days. Uh, the thing that scares me is I don't know if another Scald will kill him or not. Makes me really, really nervous. I feel like another Scald's gonna kill him. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. This music is so powerful. I'm gonna play it safe. We're gonna go out to Metagross and Bullet Punch. Just for GP, just for GP. Just to make sure that uh, we don't kill it. Cause I'm afraid another Skull is gonna kill it. Or we're gonna get like max damage or a crit or some shit and end up killing it. Hex, Hex again, big dog. Hex again, big dog. That's gonna hurt a little bit more. Ooh. Could you imagine if we had a burn or something on us? Uh, I'm gonna Mega Evolve. Cause I, I feel like even with uh, Mega Evolution, a Bullet Punch still shouldn't kill. I feel like it still shouldn't kill. And if it does, we just dashboard and come right back and try it again. <laughs> That's all I can say. Bullet punch, just take him to the red. Take him to the red! There you go. Giratina is paralyzed and it cannot move, nigga. It cannot move. Okay, so we're good to go ahead and swap back to Kristen. Mega Metagross did his job one more again. He did it one more again. I wonder if I could have gotten off a, a, a little more damage if I hadn't Mega Evolved. If I hadn't done that much the first time around. You know what I mean? I don't know, the world will never know. Another Hex? You just love using Hex, don't you? You just, you just don't want to reveal your moveset. I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. Giratina? All I'm saying is Entei, Entei showed us how much he loved us by staying in the ball the first time. I love Entei so much, I love Giratina as well. Oh my god, I was about to say! I was about to say! If my two favorite legendary Pokemon stayed in the Ultra Ball on the first try I would have lost it that would have been so so amazing you, you can have a premiere ball big dog you got a premiere ball I would have lost it you guys don't know Entei is my favorite Giratina is my second favorite I love both of these legends so look at Giratina's design it is so powerful we're gonna eat that up though I'm sorry Giratina with your mixed ass I bet you all of them are mixed but still, but still, but still, Giratina, you can have another Premier Ball, big dog. Giratina, just his design, his color scheme, the lore behind him, everything about Giratina is just so badass. He's so amazing. Oh my god, I love Giratina. You guys don't know, I would have lost it. I would have flipped shit if we would have caught Giratina on one try. You guys don't even know. I would have lost it if we would have caught Giratina on one try. Oh my god, okay. Come on now, big dog, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. Wanna we'll stay in a premier ball, okay. And Shadow Force, we should have known that he had that. We should have known that he had Shadow Force, that's signature. Uh, well, I guess while you're away, I'm just gonna go ahead and slack off. Cause I mean, I can't, it's not like I can throw a Pokeball at you, big dog. But I'll go ahead and take all this HP back. Seeing as you want to hit me with your signature move. Oh my god, talk about depressing. What ends up happening, like, I feel like, you wouldn't just return, if you Shadow Force and you, like, disappear into the shadows and you get paralyzed, are you just stuck there? Are you just stuck there and you can't do anything? <sighs> oh my god, Giratina. I mean, it's like a double-edged sword. I love Giratina, I love to hear its cry, every time it pops out of the, out of the Pokeball, I get to hear it scream one more again, but at the same time, I just want you to stay in the ball. And most of the time, I shit-talk legends and whatnot, I can't shit-talk a legend I like. Not that, not that I'm saying I dislike the other legends, it's just, if I really, really like a legendary Pokemon, I can't shit talk it. Like, I didn't have anything to say about Entei. Well, I really didn't have anything to say about Entei because he stayed in that goddamn ball on the first try. But Giratina, big dog, I love you so much, dude. I love you so- Oh, you're just so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful, Giratina. This, 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 ball, this ball will make you so happy. It will make you so pretty and so beautiful, even more than you already are. You'll love it in there, big dog. It's all types of regular dimension, because I know you hate the, the distortion world. 
I'm, I didn't mean to bring it up. I know it's, it's a sensitive topic. It's a sensitive topic. I know how you and you and Arceus or Arceus, however these niggas want to pronounce it, y'all, y'all just that's, that's a sensitive subject. You know, I didn't mean to bring up distortion word nothing like that. I'm sorry. I apologize. You here now in this lovely, aromatic cloud place? I know some somebody swooped down and scooped you up and dropped you to a hoop or some shit. But still, I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to make the world a better place for you and me. <laughs> Call some some uh, Michael Jackson, some We Are the World. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it a better. I'm just, I'm just trying to give you a good home, big dog. That's all I'm saying. Isn't that messed up? Isn't, isn't Giratina like an orphan? Well, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to offend nobody. Isn't, I mean, isn't that kind of sort of like how it is? He, he was taken from where he wanted to be, which is the actual world, and he was just dropped, just dropped into the distortion world all by himself. Like there's nothing there. Like that's just cruel of Arceus to do. But either way, check this shit out, right? I was talking, I tweeted this out before too, I was talking to a couple people uh, a couple months ago uh, before Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire came out? Oh my god! I was talking to a couple people and I was saying, you know, here goes Shadow Force. I was saying, like, what if they have, like, in, in the Fortune Remix, they give us Primal Dialga, like the one from Mystery Dungeon, and they give us uh, Primal Palkia. Oh, we can't do that. We can't. Okay, we can't throw a ball. Okay, well, slack off it is. And what if they gave us Primal Dialga and Primal Palkia, right? And, um, just like, just like they did with 3rd Gen, Primal Ground and Primal, Primal Kyogre, damn, nigga, Shadow Force is not for you, not today. But yeah, they gave us Primal Ground on Primal Kyogre, Primal Dialga, Primal Palkia, and then Mega Rayquaza and Mega Giratina. But how? How would you do it? What if, what if, what if, what if, Giratina absorbed so much enough negative energy in the distortion world that he was able to actually Mega Evolve? Because, I mean, that's, that's what happens to Rayquaza. He absorbs enough energy from the meteorites, or the, the falling megastones, or whatever you want to call it, whatever theory you want to go with. What if it was similar to that? You know, it was just enough negative energy that it allowed him to Mega Evolve? Oh, come on, Giratina, big dog. I'm talking about you Mega Evolve and getting stronger and shit, and you over here giving me a hard time. I don't understand why, dude. I love you, nigga. I love you, nigga. I love you, nigga. Come on, now. Come on, you know you want to say in this damn ball. I know you do. I know you do. JK, I know you do. I, I, I know you do. Yo, I love Giratina's theme. It's so good. It's so good all up in my eras. All up in my eras. So, so far, Giratina's rocked out with five War Spheres. He's got 15 left. I'm not sure the PP on Hex, uh, but he's used five Hexes so far. Two Shadow Claws and two Shadow Forces. Shadow Forces, unfortunately, have not landed. Which sucks for Giratina, because he keeps getting paralyzed, but I mean, I'm sorry, I don't know what you want me to do, I don't know what you want me to do, big dog, I'm trying to, like I already said before, I'm just trying to help you out, I'm trying, I'm trying to make your life just a little tiny bit better, I'm, I'm a good trainer, I'm a decent trainer, and I'm looking to give you a home, big dog, I'm looking to give you a home, so I just need you to stay, I just need you to stay in the damn ball, I'm, I'm gonna be 100% blunt and honest with you, I just need you to stay in the damn ball. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want, nigga. That's all I want. So come on, Giratina. Come on, Giratina. I can go get you some milk and cookies. I want no milk and cookies. No want no milk and cookies. Now look what you got me doing. You're gonna have me psycho off just so you can get paralyzed again. Just so you can get paralyzed again. Let's wait on it. Let's wait on it. Oh, he didn't get paralyzed. Damn! Talk about an animation. I feel like that, that that's even more powerful when he's in his origin form. Or whatever the other form is. I don't know if that's origin form or this origin form or whatever. I don't know. I never I can never remember forms. I don't know why. Like, I'm pretty sure isn't is it the Therian form? Like Lander's Therian is the one where he's like on all fours. Not when they're actually in like their genie, their cloud form or whatever. Did I just mark on myself? I didn't mark on myself. I think that's what it is. I think, yeah, Lander's T. Lando T is the one that's like a tiger on all fours. And then, uh, Tornado's T is the big bird. And then Thunderous is when he's standing there with his tail coming around. Or he's like floating or whatever the fuck he's doing. Flying. Whatever you want to call it. And then when they're in their actual genie forms, that's them traditionally. That's them normally. That's why that's how we caught them. Okay, there we go. There we go. If anything, that, that'll remind me. That'll remind me. Because, uh, fun fact for you guys, that was actually the first time I actually ever went out and caught the uh, forces of nature 
being Tornadius, Thunderous, and Landorus because uh, I played Fortune, I had the chance to capture uh, Giratina, Dialga, Palkia, and then I had a little falling out with Pokemon. Not, not necessarily a falling out, because that sounds so negative, but I kind of, I, I don't know, I just I just had interest uh, elsewhere during high school and whatnot, when 5th gen was really, really prevalent, and, um, damn, Giratina. So I never actually got to go in-game and capture them, so this is my first time capturing them. I, never, I didn't even realize that when I actually did it. So I didn't, maybe if I would have done that from the beginning, I would have realized that Therian is when they changed their actual form, and yada 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 yada. But either way, I need this damn Giratina to stop fucking with me, yo. I need you to stay in this damn ball, son. I'm just being real. You know, so I can go home, and you can go home, we can go get some milk and cookies, we can do what we need to do. Bada bing, bada boom, I hope you got a decent nature, is you nice and impish, big dog? You nice and impish, nigga? Damn, yo, like, like, just think, just think of getting shadow clawed by a Giratina. Like, you're not getting hit by his little arms, his little, his stubby little legs there. You're getting slapped by them big ass spikes on his wings, cause his wings themselves just look like claws, big ass claws. My lord, come on now, come on now. There's one, there's two, there's three. Hey, I'll take it. I would gladly accept a victory that way. Metagross got a shit ton of experience, oh my lord. Give a nickname to Giratina. I don't know what I want to call him. I like, uh... I'm only nicknaming him because it's a Let's Play. That's really the only reason I'm doing it. Traditionally, I wouldn't do it. I'm gonna nickname him Great Wall. Because I don't, I don't have a nickname for him traditionally. I'm sure there's, there's one that's better. But I'm gonna nickname him Great Wall because there is an Uber set where he is run as a great wall. I think it's like, um, Rest, Sleep Talk, Will-O-Wisp, and Dragon Tail, or something like that, something along those lines. Something like that, I can't remember exactly. We're gonna land in Slateport again. And the idea is that you give him a Chesto Berry or whatever, or leftovers if you want, if you wanna be that guy. Um, and you just, he just doesn't die. He eats up hits all day, even some special hits he eats up. But you just build him physically defensive. Groudon can't touch him, nobody can touch him. Well, maybe Primal Groudon can touch him now, since he's got boosts and whatnot, but... Pre-Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, he was a monster and nothing could touch him. <laughs> so either way, he's in our PC waiting for us. Uh, how does it make you feel to know that the, the Pokemon world's quote-unquote devil is in the PC waiting for us right now? Yeah. <laughs> so let's see what nature he is. Please be a decent nature. Please be a decent nature. Please be a decent nature. It's sassy. What is sassy? Is that neutral? They raise the special defense and lower speed. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. His highest stats are his defenses, of course. That's why I called him the Great Wall. But it's actually not bad. Because traditionally, you can build him really, really physically bulky, so the sense that we have a specially bulky one, that's not bad either. He's just, as long as it's defensive, it's decent. So we have a decent natured Giratina. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about our cartridge. We just got the luckiest cartridge in the world. How every single, almost every single Pokemon we've caught in this Let's Play so far has had a decent nature. We've had a handful of them that were just okay... One or two that were that were just I would say bad, but oh my God, Giratina so aggressive. Ah! <sighs> Either way, I'm happy. We have another legend safe and secure in the PC. We can drop off, uh, what you call it again. Let's go ahead and take our Palkia and move it back. Let's go ahead and take our Palkia and move it back since we don't need him anymore. Thank you, Palkia. I'm sorry you have to go back and sit in the PC and wait until I have an Uber's match. But, uh, with that, though, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode of Alpha Sapphire. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Next time, I'm actually not 100% sure what we're gonna go after. I'm not, I'm not even gonna say it, because it might get uploaded out of order, just based upon whatever's going on. So, either way, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button down below for us. I'd say we have a large majority of legends that we need to catch already caught, and we probably, I'd say, have, like, 10 or less left to go. So either way, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button down below for us. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, Tunapo92. I'm out.